Hello fiddlers, welcome to today's challenge. Our focus today is entirely on the right hand and more specifically on the right thumb. So what I'm having you do is concentrate on your bow hold. There are so many different styles of bow holds, so many different recommendations. So again, what I'm doing is a suggestion and if you're working on your bow hold, it is a suggestion to help you strengthen your bow hold. Um, the way I play, I keep my thumb bent on the bow. So I'm showing you this angle so you can see what I do is create a tunnel. So if this is my bow, my thumb is bent at both joints underneath, one and two, as opposed to a very common bow hold, a straight thumb. So what the straight thumb does, I'm going to show you from this angle now. So bent thumb the way I'm suggesting, opens up my wrist. So if I elongate the forearm, and now down bow, up bow, wrist, down bow, wrist, up bow, wrist, I can connect the whole movement. So I can use forearm, wrist, fingers. So I end up getting a really nice, beautiful, smooth bow. How does that help me in fiddling? If I want to play something a little bit faster, a reel or a jig, I can isolate the movement, so I'm not necessarily using a lot of forearm, which is going to give me a bit of a jerky tone. So see that, that thumb went straight. So I'm going to keep my thumb bent, and instead of using forearm, I'm going to use a little less forearm and more wrist and fingers. See that? So if I'm thinking jiggity, 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 you can see my forearm moving for that emphasis down, up, down, up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what I want you to focus on today is your starting point. So start here with a pen or a pencil. Check on what your hand's doing. Are you bent at both joints? So my thumb is bent at both joints. I'm keeping a nice round tunnel. Thumb is placed, or sorry, the bow is placed in on the thumb. And we call it the right corner of the nail. So the right corner of my thumb is what is going to make contact with my bow. So between the black ebony and the actual leather binding is where my thumb will sit. I'll show you from this angle. So my thumb is just tucked in there. But notice you can see, so I'm right in that space between the black ebony and the black leather binding. And on top of that, my thumb is bent. Then I go into bow hold. So second and third over the over the stick, pinky curled, first finger sleeping. So now I'm nice and loose, but I've got the strength in the finger position to apply pressure as I need it. So what I want you to do is fool around with this. Go and practice in front of a mirror, or do what I'm doing, pre play in front of um, a camera, a computer, an iPod, uh, a phone where you can record yourself and set it up so you can see what is happening with your, your hand. A lot of people take for granted that, yeah, I do that. And then you watch yourself play and you realize, oh, my thumb's totally straight, or I start in this position, and then as I play, my hand changes, my position changes. So fool around with that. See what is happening with you. That is the best starting place. Then go back in front of the mirror, bend that thumb, place the hand, and see how far you can get through a tune in this position. And you'll know right away, if that thumb gets fatigued or your hand gets tired or you're slipping, you don't normally play in that position. So... So you can see I'm kind of holding myself up so you can see I'm using the forearm, the wrist, the fingers, and that bent thumb. The other thing you can do just to get this motion going, I'm starting on G string so you can see how hollow my hand is and how round it is. It's a long G note. You can see that as I extend, my fingers are straightening out. See my straight thumb. Because as I extend the bow, the hand straightens as I can't keep it round down here. I'm running out of, running out of fingers. Now I'm going to go back to an up bow and it will curl back in again. My thumb will bend. Did you see that pinky? It's like a trick rider. It jumps back on the bow. I'm extended. I can't actually reach the bow. And we all jump back on. So that's what I want 
want you to fool around with today. Either start at the scale or if you're feeling super comfortable with your piece, take a look and see what's happening with your thumb as you play through the piece. Thank you so much for joining me.